Welcome back everybody, I'm doing a box opening video. My name is Scott and this is RadiumBrass.com. Uh, we have here, I don't know if you can see it, but a French horn, four keys, uh, the JFH-121. I'm going to go ahead and do an opening video so you'll see exactly what you get. Now when I ship a, an instrument, this is the box that you'll get. You're going to get it just like this so there's no uh, confusion as to how we do shipping here. Very safe. Open this up. Now every instrument that I send out is um, uh, going to be opened prior to you getting it and then repackaged because I want to check every instrument for quality. I'm not going to send out any instrument that has defects, not that I've found any. Alright, let's see here. You can tell that there's a lot of foam in there. It does take some work. And don't worry, I have plenty of foam myself. You know, it might be easier. Sometimes they fall right out. When I say fall right out, you can just lift it and then the whole thing will come up. Sometimes you gotta really work on it. Especially if it's a brand new opening. Perfect. Once we get it from its foam tomb, now this is all expando foam, basically it goes in as a little chemical uh, packet, shake it up, throw it in, and it expands to the size of the instrument to the walls of the box. Alright, so let's plastic off. Still with me? <laughs> this is the French horn. Let's take a look inside. Alright. Alright. There we go. A couple gel packs. We got the, of course, the Chinese white gloves. You know, every instrument made there has to have the white gloves. Cloth. Pretty standard stuff. Mouthpiece. Comes with a mouthpiece. I'm sure most of you have your own mouthpiece, but if you are interested. Nice little mouthpiece. I don't know if you can see that. A little standard. Looks nice. Let's see. No engravings on it. Nobody really expects you to use the mouthpiece from the manufacturer. Though, um, I've noticed that they're usually nice mouthpieces. I uh, have nothing wrong with them. Uh, let's see here. Let's open this up. There's the rest of the case. The case is pretty light. It's not heavy, but it's very rigid on the outside. Uh, it has this, uh, seems like hard foam. Yeah, I'm pushing in just a little bit. Hard foam, uh, uh, material, some sort of cloth or velvet on the inside. Uh, one spot for the mouthpiece, and then there is no uh, music section. I know some people's got some really fancy cases out there, but this is a pretty basic case. Alright. Now, this is a uh, single bell, uh, so it's a whole bell. You can't screw the bell off. I'm probably a little out of frame, I'm sorry. Let's get this a little more in frame here. Alright, look at that. Right. New horn smell. No, I'm just kidding. There's not really much smell at all. But there it is. You can see the quality for yourself. Now what I would do is I would open every uh, valve, um, uh, tuning valve. I would open these up to make sure they're all right, make sure everything's looped down, make sure everything's clean. Uh, I'd take a look. But you can tell here, I don't know if you can see that. There's, I don't see any blemishing on the, on the, on the lacquer. It looks really well polished. It looks like, you know, any other professional horn. As you can tell, uh, it has the handle. It looks like, uh, I can't tell if it's uh, real or fake leather. The Chinese, they, they, they just said, hey, we've got a handguard. 
That's what they said. It's a handguard. I'm assuming it's fake leather. Uh, we have the thumb trigger here. And then we have the actual rotary valves. And it works right out of the box. Works right out of the case. No issues at all. Now let's take a look if, uh, yeah, these move pretty freely. I'm just so careful with it. Yep, it comes right out pretty easy. You don't, you don't want them to come out too easy because you don't want them sliding out as you uh, play the instrument. Yep, it comes right out. Nothing's stuck. I can even pull this completely out. There it is. You can take a look inside there. Pretty clean. Pretty standard. Um, yeah, it's pretty nice. Put those right back in. Let's take a look at the second valve. It's a little bit easier. Very long, so you can really, really, <laughs> you could really tune it if you needed to. Pull it out. Here's another close up on that. Yeah, it's nice. I like it. If I got this, I'd be very happy. And they're they're nice.